Hi everyone, Olivia Murray from Jamberry Nails and today I'm going to talk to you about how I apply Jamberry Nail Wraps. Um, there's a variety of methods and many of them you can find on YouTube. However, uh, this is the way I like to do it and I'm going to go ahead and show you how that is. So, what we start with, the most important thing is our nail prep. And I've already done my nail prep but I'm going to walk you through how I would do my nail prep. So, the, the most important thing initially is to make sure that your nails are clean and free of um, any residual uh, nail polish or uh, uh, adhesive or anything else that might be on your nails. So, um, you remove it preferably with a non-acetone nail polish remover. And actually, um, Jamberry sells one that works really well. Um, again, it's non-acetone, so it doesn't dry out your fingernails, which is nice. And um, uh, that's obviously for nail polish and such. Um, for nail wrap removal, I have another video that you can watch to see the proper method for removing the nail wraps without hurting your nails. So once your nails are clean, the second step is to um, push back your cuticles. So um, I use, I, I like, I have what I refer to as invisible cuticles. And I don't really see them until I start scraping them back. So I like to use something like this to scrape back my, my uh, cuticles. You could also use an orange stick to push them back or some other type of cuticle pusher. Um, but for mine, I really like to use this to, to make sure I get all of the residual off. Um, and in fact, to help me with that, um, I use a product such as um, Sally Hansen's Instant Cuticle Remover, or I also have used, um, Jamberry has one as well. It uh, comes as a pen like this. It's very cute. Yes, very stylish. And, um, Sorry, we take the lid off. And as you can see, it's a brush applicator tip. So you just click it at the end here and it squeezes out at the brush and you can apply it right at your cuticles. So um, it makes it really handy, really easy to do. And um, it works really nicely for helping to get rid of cuticles. So um, pushing back cuticles, that's step number two. Uh, once you do that, you wash your hands real good with some type of soap to get rid of residual oils on your nails. The one that's recommended by most people and seems to work really well is the Dawn Dish Soap, blue in color. Why that one works the best, I don't know, but apparently it does. And um, so that one works pretty well. Wash your fingernails with that. And then you're gonna do a last step to prep your nails. Um, again, the goal is to make sure that you have no residual oils on them, otherwise the adhesive won't work as well. So um, you can use an alcohol swab or um, alcohol rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball. Or um, Jamboree also makes a nail prep uh, nail prep cleanser. And again, this is non-acetone as well. The nice part about this one is it comes in this push, nice push top. So you just put your alcohol pad or your cotton pad on there and then you can swipe your nail with with it okay so this is the only one I have left to do you can see I've already done the application of my other fingernails but I'm going to show you how to do my thumb because um, it's a little trickier my other fingernails um, I can pretty much just use the nails as is so if you haven't seen a sheet of nail wraps this is what it looks like Obviously it's a little cut up because I've been using it, but um, you have two sides of nails where you can have um, uh, both for your fingers and your toes, and the curved side goes on your cuticles. And most of my cuticles are rounded and it works really well, but my thumbs have a little bit more of a square bed to them, and so I'm going to show you how to cut those. Okay, so. Once we have our nails prepped, again, most important part, so that they stick. Um, and 
I, I really only do the alcohol swipe or the um, the nail cleanser swipe right before the nail I'm going to do. Otherwise, I end up getting busy doing stuff, touching my nails, and then I get oils back on my nails again. Okay, so um, the I had already picked out that this was the size for my thumbnail. Again, you want it to fit nicely um, to cover your entire nail, but not touching any skin at all. Otherwise, it won't stick. Okay, so picked out this one I'm using these cuticle scissors to cut it out. These come in really handy for that. Um, of course, you can use any other kind of scissors that you have. If you purchase the application kit, these come in there, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to use uh, tweezers to apply them. So you may not have a pair of tweezers. You can use other things. For instance, you could use your orange stick. Um, put it on the end of your orange stick, stick it on there, and then you could apply it that way. Um, or you could use your fingers, the ends of your fingers, as long as you're touching the part that's not going to be on your fingernail. You don't want to touch anything that will be on your fingernail, otherwise it will ruin the adhesive and it won't stick. Okay, so the first step, let's see, heat this bad boy up. So, take the back off of it. Actually, sorry, since it's my thumbnail, I'm actually going to trim it first. Okay, so you have square beds, the easiest thing to do is to just trim off a little bit right here at the curve of the round, most rounded part of the nail wrap. Not a lot. You can see, just a sweet little bit. Just cut that off. So now I have a flat end. And then you can just trim up a little bit so it's not quite so much of a hard edge there. Make it a little bit rounded. Okay, so see, a little bit rounded now. Okay, so I'm going to use my tweezers and take the backing off. So when I cut it out, I left the plastic on the back that the nail wrap is stuck to. That way it keeps it nice and safe from any oils or anything else that could get on it. It's easier to manipulate that way, cut. Okay, so now I have it on my tweezers. I'm going to hold it up to my heat source. In this case, I'm using Jamberry's mini heater. Um, you can use blow dryer, other kind of heat source. I like the mini heater because it's nice and quiet and my daughter's sleeping right now. Okay, so you just want to hold it up there, see how it got a little bit jiggly, flimsy all of a sudden, started to curl a little bit. That's more than enough time, long enough. Okay, so you're going to then line it up on your fingernail. Hold on, I gotta look at this straight on. Again, you don't want it to touch any part of your actual finger. Okay. And then you just use pressure to smooth it on there real good. You hold it up to your heat source again, for instance. You can do it this way. I usually do that once, maybe. Real quick, again, smooth it out. Okay. And then the next step that I like to do is called the baggie method. So, literally, take a baggie, you wrap your finger in it, in and, out, and put pressure on the very end. If you can see that, kind of fold it over, put pressure. That actually gets a really nice seal at the edge of your fingernail, which is important. And then I take a bag of rice that I've heated in the microwave. Normally I have super cute ones made out of these cute material 
filled with rice that I've heated in the microwave. However, I have sold them all. So, um, <laughs> I, I do sell them for $5 if anybody's interested, by the way. Um, so, instead, I have a sock full of rice, <laughs> which is not as pretty, but works just as well. Um, again, you just put it on your finger and hold it there for... I don't know, five, ten seconds, depending on how hot it is. You really don't have to get it super hot, just warm, warm enough. Okay, um, and then I'm going to use my cuticle pusher. This also comes in the application kit if you buy it. And I'm going to smooth it out. Just put a lot of pressure on it, get it nice and smooth, and well adhered. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it again and repeat, do it twice, okay? All right, so um, just hold it on there for a few seconds, get it nice and warm. All right, pressure again, nice and smooth, lots of pressure. Okay, so. I'm going to leave it for a few seconds, let it cool down. You can see whoop, there's lots of excess there. Mm -hmm. You can either trim that off a little bit more before you do this, or you can leave it on. It doesn't really matter. But what I'm going to do now, now that the, the nail wrap has cooled down just a little bit, um, I mean, it doesn't have to be cold, but you don't want it to be hot either, is I'm going to file. I'm going to file at a 90 degree angle. File straight down. Okay. See, this is the extra piece that just came off of the nail. And this is the nail. There we go. Okay. All the extra has come off. Voila, beautiful. Um, if you find for some reason that you're having trouble catching the very edges, then you can always file at a little bit more of a 45 degree angle and just take off just a little bit off the very tip of your nail to keep it from catching. But um, in general, if you just do if if you do this application method, I don't have any trouble, so you can just use the 90 degree angle. Okay, so that's it. Yay! Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, thanks. Bye.